Hello, good morning. As you know that real 3D scanner have four kind of modules, or uh, maybe five. So one is you can import any 3D object and you can process, um, post processing, cleaning, smoothing, and coloring whatever you want. The second is 2D images. So you can process 2D images into 3D for 3D uh, environment. And third one is you can um, scan any object using structure light technology using this module. And you can even perform a virtual 3D scanner with this, this module. And you can perform CNC simulation using this module. So there are five or five or six modules in real 3D scanner. Uh, today I would like to present a virtual 3D scanner. So what is virtual 3D scanner? and how can we perform a virtual 3d scanning so first of all we should know that what is virtual 3d scanner so virtual 3d scanner is a high resolution virtual 3d scanner that scans a virtual object in the virtual environment virtual object means that you can import you can export any CAD object from solidworks pro or whatever and you can scan in virtual environment so why we need that because we need to verify accuracy and the algorithm that is involved in such like technology and a complete simulator that can perform uh, scanning is the same as the real world 3d scanning so let's start so we can start virtual 3d scanning from here and this is a GUI of virtual 3D scanner. So let's follow the steps. First of all, we need to create a four step sinusoid of fringe pattern. So in virtual 3D scanning, you can only perform four step algorithm. You cannot perform other than. So just select four step. So pitch is the pitch of virtual fringe pattern, width, height, average intensity, intensity modulation okay select the four step and generate now you can see the pattern you can plot the pattern you can even save for later purposes okay the second is create a window so this is just a 3d render for uh, 3d scanning the third step is import a model so i would like to import my sample object okay <clears throat> you can see that there are nine sliders here maybe ten yeah so first three sliders are the translation of camera the second yellow one is a translation object the third one is translation of model if you select a camera true so you can see that this is camera so we can translate in x y and z camera wherever you we want and we can even translate the projector wherever we want because in our actual uh, th the 3d scanning we have a one camera and one projector and one object so mm -hmm. a virtual 3d scanner contain one virtual camera one virtual object and a model and a reference plane so and here is a translation of object so you can translate the object wherever you want and these are the sliders okay let's start before starting just actually visualize the other camera views so this is camera 3 camera 4 and camera 1 so scanning will be performed only on camera 1 not a so let's start so it seems so faster so make it a little slow 40 this is a delay between each fringe pattern so if we have a one delay the, the, the projection and capture will be very fast if we have a 40 delay means the 40 frames will be skipped now let's move in the parameter sections so the first two residue and range 
it only affects the phase unwrapping algorithm so we have a four kind of phase unwrapping algorithm the most uh, efficient and accurate is quality guided phase unwrapping algorithm so just select here this one because this is a virtual environment so uh, the the there is no noise in the fringe patterns and and the uh, the setup is predefined so therefore uh, these parameter does not affect on uh, the scan model the second is pitch pitch we have a selected a 32 so put a 32 so l so what is l l is a working distance between the reference plane and the entrance people of camera and project in my uh, PhD dissertation, I have tried to explain that there can be a four kind of uh, setups that we can use in structural light 3D scanner. So the one setup is like that. The camera is perpendicular to the reference plane, or maybe you can say that the camera Z axis is aligned with the reference Z axis, and the projector is making some angle. So here I have placed that aligned camera. So aligned camera means that the camera is Z axis aligned with the reference Z axis and projector is here. The second algorithm is that aligned project aligned with the reference plane and camera is making some angle. So here we are using aligned camera algorithm. In this algorithm, L is a distance between the camera lens and the reference plane is the distance between the projector and the camera lens we are not using focal length of camera here so w and high is the width and reference width and height of the area that we are capturing so we are capturing if we uh, turn on the camera too so this is our area that we are capturing right now so this is just a pixel to millimeter ratio so we have 512 by 512 pixels and how much millimeter they are covering it 5 millimeter by 5 millimeter and x y and z are just a tolerance value if we do not get some uh, actual dimension you can just add or minus some value from the actual dimensions and that just as a tolerance value so here we are getting our 3d scan model you can uh, translate this object a little bit in the direction for the better uh, realization so this is render render means that uh, how much dense model we need yeah this looks good what is happening here so the projector is projecting four phase shifted free pattern onto the reference plane and object and the capna is capturing eight inches the four with object and four without object plus one that is for texture mapping so if you press save button all the 9 mg will be saved at the mansion location so if we press a save button here the images will be saved at the captured images yeah here you can see that and if you want to rotate the model or scale the model you can press this button you can rotate in z direction and scale a little bit i apply so here it is now if you want to triangulate this object you can press triangulation and the point cloud will be converted into triangular mesh these are just the dimensions of the original scan model so the bounding box dimension of the original model and bounding board dimension of the scan models if you have a half sphere you can measure the accuracy of this visual scanner by by observing the original and skin uh, measurements if you want to pass the scanning just press here 
and if you want to finalize the scanning press off scanning button now uh, the scanning has stopped and you're gonna export this model yeah that's it uh, hope you like this video and see you in next video